and welcome to Rise in Shine. If you are looking to deepen your relationship with our living Christ, then you are in the right place. Um, for this class, best practice, you want to grab the worksheet in the description box below if you don't already have a journal or a workbook that we're working with. And um, you want to grab two different color pens and find yourself in a comfortable seated position with a couple pillows for support. We're going to be here for about 50 minutes. I'm going to give you a few more moments to go ahead and gather your items and get yourself situated, and then we can begin our time together. So we begin our time together in the same way that we begin all of our moments of conscious awareness, and that is to first pause and take a moment to recognize how we are connected to and supported by the place where we are seated. We want to take a moment to turn our brain's awareness inward and notice how our body is held by our seat. Let's go ahead and do that together now. And as you are noticing how your body is held by the place where you are seated, you want to take a moment to recognize which part of your body feels the most held by your seat. Which part of your body feels the most held by your seat? You want to go ahead and write that down, that body part down into your journal. And we're saying here is where I am already supported, right where I am seated. Here is where I am already supported, right where I am seated. You can take a moment and allow yourself to receive that. Let your brain see it, and then we're going to spend one minute to allow the body to absorb that.
And as you are receiving that support, we're invited to go a little deeper and recognize what does that quality of support feel like to you? Take a moment and notice that. What does that quality of support feel like to you? and write that down into your journal. So from that place, we're going to take a moment to receive that. You want to actually circle that living support. We're saying this is God's living gift to me. This is God's living gift to me.
And then from that place, we want to take a moment and notice what is the main challenge that you are facing into today. And then from that place, now that we feel, you know, in this class, we are becoming the mediating space. We're bringing together our worldly experience into an embodied relationship with the mystery of the living Christ support, and the living Christ love. So we are allowing both to become intertwined. We're not pushing one out because the living Christ support is the reconciler for whatever challenge, whatever thing we are facing, whatever trauma, whatever pain, whatever is alive in the body, the living Christ is meant to be intertwined with that. And then with those two things together, something new begins to occur. There's a power alive in your challenge and there is a power, of, a amazing power alive in God. And when the two come together, something else is created and you become stronger, clearer, more resilient, more relaxed, and more Whole because things become reconciled. So when you're looking at that step one that we go through in part one, it is naming the two pieces that we're going to be bringing together. And then in part two and three, part two is we're going down the list of really articulating our embodied experience and teasing out all, all of the nuances of our um, way in which we're suffering, our way in which we have navigated through these challenges in our life. And then in part three, we're bringing God's living love into that very specifically and methodically. I'm strength training that capacity for myself to move into this relationship. Jesus was showing me um, this act of prayer because I'm putting together these classes and looking through lots of different images to be adding in to the teachings and he's saying look at how for how long we've been praying and this act of bringing the two hands together is what we're doing but we're actually moving um, prayer into the next evolution which is participating with God so may I be recognizing myself fully and then recognizing God fully and letting the two meet within my body and it redefines this experience of bringing your two hands together or holding hands with somebody else. Am I fully present with them and them? Are they able to be fully present with me? Such a great image and such a great tool for how we see um, participating in relationship. So right now we're going to go through the cringy part of the vulnerable part, the courageous part of us being able to name how does this challenge come alive within our system? And this invites us into this pausing the way that we might be trying to fix it or run away from it or do whatever we do with it. And we're really just trusting that it's okay for us to really become familiar with how this is alive in our body and in our mind. So I'm gonna walk you through those steps together as I walk through them again myself and um, and let's see where this leads us closer to God. So when you reread your challenge, you want to notice how does your mind 
see you in that challenge? What is the imagery that you see? And what are the thoughts you hear your mind thinking as you are facing into that challenge that's alive for you today? Let's go ahead and notice that together now. And how do you normally speak about this challenge that you are facing into today? I don't know if I asked this because my, <laughs> my, my brain is a little um, disoriented, but um, how do you normally behave in the face of this challenge? I'm not sure if I said that one.
and what are the emotions and the sensations that are evoked as you are facing into this challenge? You want to go ahead and take a moment. You can reread your um, reread your challenge and notice how your emotions and the sensations that accompany them arise in your system, and you can draw those on your diagram and then write the emotions uh, in the space where that is uh, provided. And then how does your breath rate respond to this challenge? And in the past, when you have faced a similar challenge, what was the outcome for you?
And what is it that you imagine is going to happen in the future because this circumstance is present here today? And then from that place, now we have named what is alive for us. And um, take a moment and notice that, and then notice what the primary support that God um, is outpouring to you this morning, the primary support, and just kind of notice that. Like, here's what you've carried. Here's what's going on. But this is what God already forgave you already provided you before you even sat and really articulated this god already outpoured this thing to you now we're going to learn how to receive it more but there is a very loving mystery in that that god already knows what we need this is why well i could say i could talk for an hour on that so i'm going to stop but just notice that notice what that means that god knows you in that way And then from that place, we're now going to change our pen color and we're going to begin to hold each of these areas of embodied experiences, each of these regions. And we're gonna hold it for a minute to two minutes each and notice what is revealed in and through you and then notice what begins to happen uh, through that. So let's begin with our mind. You're gonna read what is alive in your mind.
going to take a moment and write down what it is that you um, experience as you uh, feel your head being held in this challenge. take a moment and hold your throat and your voice and your neck and hold how this part of your body is navigating um, this challenge and hold that in Christ's love. to take a moment and notice, um, just hold how your impulse to behave in the face of this challenge.
and you want to hold the emotions and the sensations that are coming up as you are facing into this challenge. write down what comes up for you. And noticing your breath rate, being able to hold your lungs and your heart in, in the face of that challenge.
and make a note of what it is that you experience as you are being held in that space. And what is it that you imagine is going to happen in the future because this is present? You're holding that. You're holding that. In God's living love and support. So take a moment and really notice what it is that God is outpouring to you. What is it that your mind is seeing and what is it like to be held in this way with this living love? And we're saying, uh, turning ourselves to God, we're saying, show me how to navigate this challenge in your love, in your grace, and in your peace. Turning your mind, your heart, your life, your body to God's living heart and asking that question and allowing, uh, allowing your path to be revealed. Let's go ahead and notice that together.
want to make a note of what it is that you are, what is being revealed in and through you, to you. So you can transfer what it is that you're invited to do over to like an index card or a spare sheet of paper that you're going to bring with you into your day. And and then you can bring this back at night when you're doing the evening practice. You can kind of see like where where you were able to stay in Christ, with Christ, and strength train that uh, keeping your eyes and your self fixed on God and receiving what God has given you and bringing that into the moment that you're in. And then where you fall short of that, we're all going to fall short of that every single day because we're infinitely building our capacity in Christ. The more that I'm able to receive this, the more of my foundation is set, the more things will reorganize, the more then I'll move into function with Christ in Christ. And, um, that is, that is what we're working towards, but it's never going to be done. It's always something that we are continually building. So this just helps us remain in that relationship throughout the day so that we can um, be doing it with the most amount of grace and peace possible for ourselves. I give all my thanks, all of my life, all of myself to my living Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this opportunity, this life, this power, and this love. I am, I am more than grateful. I don't think grateful is even like begins to touch uh, how I feel. So thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. May we all continue to uh, aspire and strive to stand in this living love so that we can receive it for ourselves, be healed, be renewed, and bring that to the world. I look forward to seeing you guys when it suits your schedule next. Have a great day.